Death Wish, guys, is the 2018 remake of the 1974 Charles Bronson action film. And in the 2018 adaptation, Bruce Willis is the lead, and he plays a doctor who foregoes a tragedy involving his wife and his daughter after a break-in in his house. From there, he goes on a vigilante spree, trying to find these three people that did what they did in this film to uh, his family. Um, now, for those of you who aren't familiar with the original, I personally, I, I really didn't like the original film. I recently saw it, and I was like, this is, this is bad. Like, it's just, it's not good. So I went into this film with low expectations, the remake, that is, um, because I also hadn't seen any of Eli Roth's work, and I saw the critical response. It was a 12% on Rotten Tomatoes from critics, and then I looked at the audience, and it was 72% as of the making of this video, and I was like, holy cow, that, that's a huge difference. Um, so I went into this with low expectations, but I was also kind of wondering why there was that 12% rating. And while watching the film, I kind of realized why. It's because a lot of people that are critics, um, they are looking at, they, they see that a lot of people, there's a hatred for guns. And that's understandable why certain people feel that way. I understand why they feel that way. But I also understand why people are pro-gun. And this isn't a political message video. I'm just stating I understand both sides. In this film, in my opinion, I feel as though it shows both sides. Um, it shows some characters that clearly aren't about guns. And then there are other characters that are. And that's life. You know, like I just said, there are two ends of the spectrum. Sometimes people are in the middle such as myself, um, they can see both sides. And as a viewer, maybe it's just because me, I'm able to do that. I was able to notice that, hey, these characters are for, these aren't. It's just like with Bruce Willis's character. When he's going on this vigilante spray, there are some people that were like, oh, I can understand why he's doing what he's doing. Like, you know, he's, he's doing things that are good. And there are others where it's like, no, what he's doing is bad. That's life. It's like, you know, you watch the news, you're not going to get 100% people saying, yes, this is right or, oh, this is wrong. Um, it's the crazy thing, you know, like to some people, you know, that there are different opinions. And this film kind of shows that um, in an action film kind of aspect. And I will say towards the end, it kind of was showing one point of view, but that was from the main character's point of view. And so, like, of course, uh, he's going to be feeling a certain way you know, through the actions. Like, it makes sense. But that doesn't mean the film as a whole is saying, yeah, this is right. It's saying, this character is feeling this way, and this is his views. That's all it's saying, my opinion. Um, but enough with all that. That's just getting my thoughts on it. That's why I was able to... I was able to understand Bruce Willis. I was able to understand his character, what he was going through. And I liked that this film was showing the development of him... Uh, being able to do what he did, um, you know what I'm saying? Like the, you, you see like this break in him, and you, you see him slowly growing as someone that is able to do the stuff that he does in this film. And in some films, just kind of like make it like boom, just like that, someone snaps, and it's like all of a sudden he's the greatest fighter in the world. But not this film; it shows the steady progression. Um, but off with all that, I will say that this film, technically speaking, the sound design is really good. Um, the score is. Very good. And I like that they also incorporate a soundtrack in some scenes. It was very effective, in my opinion. Um, the action uh, veers from some scenes being very gruesome and hard to watch to other scenes where it is just so... The audience members were hooting and hollering in my theater with some of the violence. And, and I mean, like, I, I almost wanted to be like, whoa. Like, <laughs> but, I mean, it made, it made again, it made sense. Like, if you've seen the film, you understand why they feel that way. Um, but this film, like I said before, it's not perfect. There are flaws to this film, such as the storytelling. Um, I think personally that the story, while it is, you know, slightly, it's showing some stuff that it, other action films don't like, you know, the study progression of, uh, a protagonist getting to the point where he does. I still think that the story itself, it's pretty meh. Like, if that's not what you'll remember. You'll remember probably, honestly, some of the action. Um, and I also think that some of the pacing, it's just kind of weird, where, like, the beginning, it's slow but steady, and then it, like, breakneck pace, and then, like, towards the end, it takes its time to the finale, and it just kind of felt weird. Um, some people, the tone also might be a bit off. And, again, I completely understand with all that. Um, and I am not a 
huge fan of this film. Um, in fact, Death Wish, I will be giving a 3 out of 5 star rating. But I will say, I, I do think you should see this film and get your own thoughts on, on this film. Because I don't think you should look at the reviews and be like, okay, it's 100%. It, it's an awful film. Uh, this I have seen 20-some films already this year. This is not one of the worst. This is a middle of the road, but gives a slight bit more juice to the film than your average action film. But I still can only give it a 3 out of 5. Um, and if you're wondering, yes, I do think it's a lot better than the, the, uh, original and because the original, I gave a one out of five star rating. So those are my thoughts on the remake guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the comment section down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys around.